World's finals time at the 2016 NCHA Futurity with the first cab off the rank, the limited open final that was taken out by Todd Adolph on Pitchfork's bet with a 219 and a half. Congratulations to you, Todd. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. How nervous were you coming into the event? Uh, I was pretty nervous. That's the first finals I've ever made. And, uh, you know, we had, we had a great draw in the, in the first two rounds. We were pretty deep. So uh, being third in that second set, so, you know, kind of the money draw. So I knew we had a shot. So I was, I was pretty excited, but it, my help and everybody kept me pretty calm. So At that point, you knew 219 was the score to beat in the first go-round? Sorry, in the first set? Yeah. Yeah, the, the 219 was a great run. The cow run out right there at the, at the buzzer to keep from finishing strong. And then uh, so I knew that there was a shot, you know, um, so it was... There was a chance to, to beat him if, if everything come together, and, and uh, my horse was good. So. so how did you prepare for it? Well, we uh, we worked him today. I got to show him twice. My wife got to show him twice in the non-pro and the limited go-round. So he's been in here four times. And uh, she had a bit of bad luck on him, but, but he's just been getting better and stronger. And he's a real laid-back horse, um, so he makes it pretty easy. And every, every run, we got to see a little something that you could fix and make a little better. And he's just been been getting better and stronger with every run and smarter. And, and today, from the first crack on that first cow, I kind of messed up my first cut a little bit. But but as soon as I put him down, the first move he felt great. So I knew if I could just get the cows in front of him, he could handle it, and, and he was good. When you're going through the run, what are you thinking? What are you feeling at the time? Do you remember? Well, I just I didn't want to mess anything up. I, I've watched a few runs, and I've done it myself in other runs where you you try to force it. And I just wanted to have a good, clean run. Um, I didn't, wasn't sure if we had the horse to win it, but I knew he'd be up in there, and we just wanted to get as big a check as we could. And uh, right before I went in there, I asked Matt Gaines what I should do, and he said, don't change anything, just go in and do your job. And uh, so I just wanted to get a cow in front of him. I rushed the first one a little bit, but the second cow, uh, we were watching cows. Grant Setnick and Mike Wood, they really liked the yellow cow. And uh, when I went to cut it, everything just fit, and... I, you know, that cow was phenomenal, and, and he was great, and he felt right under me, so I knew all I had to do was finish it off after that, and, and he was good. Did you think it was win a winner when you'd finished? No, I didn't. I wasn't too sure. My third cow wasn't that great, but it was good, so I knew we were close. I knew we'd get a, a decent check, you know, and, and I was so happy with him. We've been so blessed, and he's been so good for us, and, and uh, it's been great. Now, he was an absolute sweetheart. When we were talking to you a little bit earlier, he was nibbling on my paper, and he wanted to be right there amongst the, the group of journalists and um, almost looked like he wanted to comment. <laughs> So what's it been like to prepare for his, uh, you know, first first shot at showing? As a three-year-old year, they changed so much. Tell us about his journey. You know, we, we bought him here at the sale when he was a yearling, so I've had him the whole time. And uh, he was very easy to start, um, just great to be around. Uh, we cut him. He was a stud when we bought him. We cut him when he was two and when we bought him. And uh, it just leveled everything out. And from then on, pretty much anything you wanted to do with him, he was... He was good for it, and he, he was always just a little bit slow moving and a little bit slow maturing, and uh, everybody just told me that they would watch him or something. They'd say, just leave it alone. You know, he's coming. He's fine, and, and so I tried really hard not to, not to mess him up, and uh, when I worked for Greg Ward when I was young, he said, you know, he said, you make the bad ones good, the good ones better, and don't mess up the great ones. And so I was just trying really hard not to mess him up. And he just he just came to the party. And some horses, when they get here, it's too much for him. And he, he never, he just never feels like anything worries him. He's so confident. He feels like he's five already. Yeah, you look like you'll be a very successful partnership. But best of luck to you. Thank you very much.